Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? I believe it's uh, Friday, March 19th. So yesterday we had a baby. She's outside already. Uh, that old girl that we bought, uh, she was orange number 10. She was number 10 cow of uh, the ones that we bought. But she's definitely not the 10th cow to calve. We still got quite a few of them new ones to calve. But anyway, this is one of our own. This would be her uh, third calving go round. And she's in here because she's kind of a snooty bitch at times. And there's her baby. He's not doing too good. And his sister, unfortunately, we lost her. Mm, so she had a set of twins and we lost his sister. So CP's warming up some uh, colostrum milk. We're going to give him a shot of, give him some of that because he hasn't sucked yet, the little bugger. And we'll go from there. So yeah, she's been an eventful morning already. And so got one out, brought one in and lost one. But... For anybody that's new to the channel and doesn't know cattle, generally speaking, beef cows and Angus cows in particular, generally are not, they're not like Holstein cows. They're not designed to raise two or three calves on their own. Um... Their anatomy, their build, everything, so on and so forth, is meant for them to have one baby in general. And they can raise one baby quite comfortably. Now, I know some Charlet cows and uh, more full-blood type Simmentals or Simmental Char Cross. Uh, maybe a little bit on the Shorthorn slash Main Anjou. They can handle raising two calves, and the calves usually do fairly decent. But when you have a set of twins, it's uh, most guys will take the one twin off and either bottle feed it or sell that calf as a to somebody that lost a calf. Mm, so in our case, she still has a calf. We'll get some colostrum milk into him, his first feed, and that has all the enzymes in it to help him get through this difficult stage and help protect him against lots of uh, things that are to come. So, But it has lots of very good antibodies in it to uh, help the calf survive, get their stomachs working, and so on and so forth. But anyway... Um, yeah, that's what's been going on here. We went to, uh, Weyburn yesterday, visited the daughter, son-in-law, grandkids, blah, 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 and paid for some new seed. And that new seed is yet to come. Um, it's a collaboration of a whole bunch of things. So anyways, I'll, there'll be more to that in future videos, this new seed uh, forage slash silaging slash green feed type seed that we're going to try growing this year. So I'm going to grab a fork. CP's just warming up that colostrum milk and I'm going to fork some of the manure out of this one pen. And yeah, we'll go from there. We'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Well, he's trying to suck guys. CP's got him going. He's not down and out yet. That's a two liter bottle and uh, we'll get a, try and get half a bottle into him, keep him a little bit on the hungry side. That way when he struggles to get up and it looks like he's gonna try, uh, he'll be more apt to going to mum and sucking more off of mum. But he's got a little bit of a twisted knee, too. What are you doing there? He wants to try getting up, but right now he can't. And his legs are crossed. 
Okay, we'll get this in them and we'll bring you guys back later. Alrighty, well, gave her a little bit of grain, a little bit of hay. He sucked half a liter and then we tubed the rest of it into him. Got the barn raked up, it's just dirt floor. Pen cleaned up. Okay, let's go. Check on some more cows. If there's something happened, we'll bring you guys back. Just down here trying to get uh, this little guy going. I know it's kind of dark in here, guys. Need better lighting. <clears throat> He's pushing the wrong way. But he'll find it. There we go. Not quite. See if I can get the, a light turned on here for you guys. But that's how our maternity pen works. I don't even have her in the head gate at this point. I just got a chain around her back end so she can't back out of there. And it's just safer for me. And she's not kicking because the calf is right there. And she's been in here before. So, But he's finding it. He's all over the place. He did take a little bit more from the bottle, but not a, not a lot. But I'm going to work with him here a little more, and uh, we'll bring you guys back later. And there we go. He's kind of finding him on his own, but he keeps friggin' wanting to move around so much. And he's a little unstable on his front legs yet. Uh, so when he's sucking, mom stands really nice. When he stops, then she starts throwing a tantrum. Uh, so, so I got to be careful that he doesn't get to the front of her and end up stepping on her by accident but anyway later all righty guys there's big blue in the shredder the old jiffy bale processor and here's all these little guys and i think i seen one old black girl and i missed her ear tag number but she looked like she's really bagged up. And actually, she's not that old. I think this would be her third or maybe fourth calf. Well, hello, you. Hello. Came to say hello. Where the heck is she? From the tractor, she looked really full. And now I don't see her. There she is, green 52. How full is she? Yeah, she's pretty full. She begged up a lot here this afternoon. And she was kind of hanging back when she walked in here. That's what really caught my eye. She's kind of hanging back. That one right there, that's the cow that uh, calved yesterday morning. And I just kicked her out here today. This little girl seems to be doing fine. Itchy, itchy ear. Um, uh, the one inside the barn, the 
one half of a set of twins seems to be doing okay so this green uh, 52 I don't think I have to worry too much about her for a while it'll be my guess late tonight or early tomorrow morning but there's a few of them that are real close like this old girl right here she's one of our older girls I don't know she's nine maybe thereabouts uh, she could drop that calf right now the way she is and this one right here This is a second calver, she was a heifer, and she's ready to drop a calf here real close. And that's a second calver right there. She was a heifer last year. She needs to fill up a little more with milk. And actually I think that one's a heifer too from last year. This will be a second second calf in her. Second time calver. She's doing pretty good, eh? For a heifer, she's a thicker girl. She's looking good. And give her a couple more weeks and she'll be wowzers. She'll she's gonna be a wowzers calf that one. Uh, so anyway guys we'll uh go put that tractor away and we'll bring you guys back a little bit later on. Jason me. Wants to play. You ornery cunt. Anyway guys, if you remember this yellow 62 from a year ago, some of you might remember, we had a calf that uh, got his head got stepped on out in the pasture actually it wasn't even in the corral or in a pen like this it was out in the pasture and it broke his lower jaw he couldn't suck he couldn't eat or anything like that mm, so uh and that was on pasture so we ended up putting the calf down and it was her calf last year she went without a calf so hopefully this little guy will perk up. He was standing by himself at one point today, so that's a positive. And so he's had all his shots already, his vitamins and so on and so forth. He's had a good shot drink of colostrum from her, so that's good. So we're all on the right track now. Um, I just gave her some water. I'll fill her dish up here again shortly maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later on when I come out and do evening barn check. Uh, give her some hay. She's had grain already, so. But anyway, we'll we'll make it happen. We'll make sure everything is on the up and up and do the best we can for that little fart. So with that, I think CP is at the barn here. In fact, I know she's at the barn. She's playing with her chickens. We killed all our roosters. There was like nine root. Well, there was nine roosters, and we butchered eight of them, and put one with her girls. That doesn't mean you get to friggin' keep eggs yet. Yes. You gotta wait until next next year. <laughs> if there's guys i'm sorry but i have no problem killing pigs butchering pigs 
butchering beef, that kind of thing. But I hate. You what? You supervise. Doing chickens. I hate it. Anyways. Snig. <laughs> you got another one? Yeah. No, I'll leave it on for a sec. Okay. And so, with that, give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share the video with all your friends and family, and if you think it's worth sharing, I guess. Tell your friends and family to come on board and subscribe, right? Yep. Yep. And so, until tomorrow, fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll Night. catch you guys later.